so now we are discussing some examples for condensation polymers first category is polyesters example first one decron or terylene this can be obtained from a diol called ethylene glycol ethylene glycol CH2OH this one on reaction with terephthalic acid this terephthalic acid n times polymerizes water molecule is removed and the product obtained will be like this here one hydrogen atom is removed so CO water molecule is removed C double bond o C double bond o n times polymerizes okay polymerizes and form decron this will be the product decron or terylene sorry terylene okay so its important property is it is a strong fibrous structure it is having strong fibrous structure so it can be used uses used as a blend with cotton and wool for clothing okay in the clothing industry it can be used as a blend with cotton and wool next it is used for glass reinforcing material in safety helmets the it can be used as glass reinforcing material next other uses it can be used for making seat belts then sails magnetic recording tapes can be used for me for the manufacture of magnetic recording tapes also this can be decron can be used second example glyptar which is a polyester second one glyptar or alkyd resin also called as alkyd resin it is a thermoplastic polyester resin okay so it can be obtained from diol called ethylene glycol and dicarboxylic acid phthalic acid ethylene glycol phthalic acid phthalic acid is like this cooh cooh this is phthalic acid polymerizes okay polymerizes water molecule is removed and the product obtained will be ch2 CH two O, then CO CO n times. This is called as glyptar plus NH two O. It's called as glyptar. It's an alkyd resin. Okay, it's even used as a. It is used in the manufacture of paints, lacquers, etc. Manufacture of paints, lacquers, etc. These are the important uses. So next category is polyamides. Example. Third one, nylon six six. This can be obtained between the two monomers. One is dicarboxylic acid, and another one is amine. Okay, diamine. Example nylon six six. So this can be. We already discussed this. Uh, this can be obtained from hexamethylene 
diamine and adipic acid COH is a dicarboxylic acid polymerizes and form the product called nylon 66 product will be like this NH C double bond H2 is removed then CH2 four times C double bond is called as nylon 66 this is a polyamide okay and its properties this is uh, this nylon fibers this possess high tensile strength and they are resistant to abrasion important property so it can be used in the manufacture of fabrics manufacture of fabrics and bristles of brushes are the important uses. Next polyamide is nylon 6 which is a polyamide. So the fourth example nylon 6 or perlon. This can be obtained from caprolactam. So first we have to obtain caprolactam. This caprolactam on heated with traces of water it gets polymerizes and form nylon 6. So first we have to prepare capro, caprolactam. How can we prepare? It can be prepared from cyclohexane on oxidation forms cyclohexanone. Cyclo, double bond, ketone. Okay. So cyclohexanone will be obtained. Then Next, what will happen? It reacts with hydroxyl amine. That is NH2OH is hydroxyl amine. Reacted and form double bond NOH. This is an oxide. Okay. Oxide will be obtained. Next step, what will happen? With H2SO4, Beckman rearrangement. This rearrangement will study in the higher classes. This reaction takes place. The rearrangement takes place is Beckman rearrangement. So what will happen? A seven-membered com, seven-membered ring will be obtained, and the ring contains NH and C double bond. O. C. This is a seven-membered ring. Okay. NH in the ring. And C double bond in the ring. This is called as caprolactam. Then what will happen? With traces of water molecule, it polymerizes. Okay, polymerizes. What will happen? Breakage will be here. Okay, here breakage takes place, and one, two, three, four, five carbon atoms. Okay, CH two, five times. Then NH will be here. And C double bond because the breakage will be here. So this N times. This is called as nylon 6 or perlon. Okay. Now what are its uses? It can be used for making tire cords. Then fabrics, robes, etc. The uses of nylon 6. Next category is formaldehydrosine. So first compound, fifth one, bakelite. Example for formaldehydrosine, bakelite, which is phenol formaldehydrosine. Phenol formaldehydrosine. Okay. This can be obtained from phenol and formaldehyde. These are the monomers, phenol. First step is phenol with formaldehyde HCHO. This is phenol. Then it gets converted into two products 
ortho hydroxy benzyl alcohol and para hydroxy benzyl alcohol this is ortho hydroxy ch2oh ortho hydroxy benzyl alcohol then plus para hydroxy oh ch2 para hydroxy benzyl alcohol okay these two compounds are produced then next this ortho hydroxy or para hydroxy polymerizes and form linear polymer called novolac ortho hydroxy polymerizes this is the initial formation okay ch2oh polymerizes and form ch2 then oh then ch2 then again next compound like this ch2 n times this is called as novolac this is used in paints it's an important product it is used in paints and in the next step what will happen these linear polymers then cross linked in the when heated with uh, hcho or formaldehyde this novolac when heated with formaldehyde cross linking happens and form bakelite okay so two linear polymers attached through a cross linkage when heated with formaldehyde and form bakelite now this is bakelite two linear polymers novolac three two linear polymers cross linked through ch2 okay so uh, novolac on heated with formaldehyde cross link will happen and a polymer called bakelite will bakelite will be obtained which is also called as phenol formaldehyde resin okay next it's important uses what are the uses it can be used for making combs then phonograph records phonograph records then electrical switches fountain pens handles of different utensils used for making barrels then electrical goods etc are the uses these are the uses of bake lights next formaldehyde resin example is melamine formaldehyde resin sixth compound melamine formaldehyde resin or melamine polymer okay here the monomers are melamine and formaldehyde melamine is this compound c NH2, here one NH2, NH2, then this is melamine. Okay, this is melamine. Contains in the ring, it contains three nitrogen atom and then attached to three NH2 groups. This is called as melamine. Melamine with formaldehyde HCHO. Okay, polymerization takes place. And the product will be like this nitrogen, then NH2. Here, water molecule removed, and NHCH2. Oh, NH2 here. Okay. So, this is the 
compound. This is an intermediate compound. Proceed intermediate. The resin intermediate. Okay, this is the intermediate compound produced, and this enzymes polymerizes. Okay, polymerizes and form minus NH two polymerizes and form melamine formaldehyde resin. See. NH2 here CH2 n times okay NH2. NH2. so this compound is called as melamine polymer or resin. Melamine formaldehyde resin. So, this melamine on reaction with formaldehyde forms a resin intermediate. Okay, resin intermediate CH2OH. From this, water molecule is removed, NH2O, polymerizes and form melamine polymer. Okay, this is called as melamine polymer. What is its use? It can be used for making unbreakable crockery. Unbreakable uses. Unbreakable plastic crockery called as melmac. It's called as melmac. Okay, so this can be obtained from this melamine formaldehyde resin, melamine polymer. This is important use. Okay.